Hi, I'm Aaron Woods from the Manly Warringah Seagulls over here in Vegas to promote the NRL in Las Vegas for our round one competition game. I'm Steve Kuoko with Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Great to meet you. Welcome to Vegas. I'm excited. Your energy is incredible. <laughs> what would you have to say to the listeners about how pumped and excited you are, not only for this moment, Aaron, but coming up in March? Well, firstly, I'm actually just pumped to be here. Uh, this is unbelievable. I couldn't believe it in any of my wildest dreams. You know, I was a young kid, grew up in a little Indian west suburb in, in, in Sydney uh, from Australia. And, and if you had told me when I was five or six years old that I'd be over in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. of all places, to promote one of my favorite sports, if, uh, one of the greatest sports in Australia, um, I'll be saying you got rocks in your head. You'd have <laughs> no idea. Um, but honestly, not just myself, the other three boys, Billy, you know, Campbell and Spencer that are here, Mate, it's just a dream come true. It was not even a dream. I would never have dreamt of this, honestly. Like, it's just unbelievable to be part of this. I think it'll. I think that. I think you Las Vegas people will love it. I, I think you. You love your collision. Um, you, it's an entertainment capital, mm -hmm. and we're an entertaining sport. We're here to pump up. We're here to show you off the big hits. You know, we don't wear pads. We don't wear helmets. We just go after each other. That's all it is. So I think it'll be a quality brand for you guys to love, and I think you'll really embrace it. Is there something different and better knowing that you're from Australia? The States is very, very different from other countries. Yep. Do you feel that you're gonna give us a better perspective inside not only your sport, but to see the world of sports through your lens yep. differently? I honestly do, because what a lot of people think is that, like, so when you when you play NFL, right, you've got an offensive line, defensive line, and they always come on and off when obviously it's a tackle defense. We have the same 13 players on for 80 minutes. So it's a battle of endurance in our game. Um, and at times, because you're so fatigued in the game, you've got to make decisions on the run. And then that split second, you could go from what we call like a green light to a red light, and you could lose your head. You can get into a push and shove, a bit like the hockey, you know, and then tempers start to flare, or you can see some brilliance and some great passing. So in our game, you've got to pass backwards. With NFL, you've got to go forward, obviously. But you just see the, the, the skill level that it takes. And, and to do it for that long period of time, Usually will get like, usually be like, wow, I can't believe how long this game goes for. Obviously, we play 80 minutes on the field, but we don't have as many ad breaks as you guys. So it's just always something happening in the game. The only time we get a break is at halftime, and it's about 13, 14 minutes, and then we're straight back into it. Now, will this be a one-time shot with you coming here for, you know, the event, or is this going to be something more often throughout well, the Well, I think we've signed up for five years, so this could be the next five years and we want to create that relationship where it lasts a lot longer than that. Um, it's some, this is not just an overnight thing where we just go on happy to go to Vegas. We want to have a cr create a relationship where we go, you know, we're going to Vegas every year for round one and that's what starts our competition. Mm -hmm. Any closing thoughts at all? Anything you want to share that's about you or what's most important to you? No, I just want to hope the fans get behind us. It's an honor to come play and play round one over here. Yeah. Um, and we just want to showcase our brand of, of, of sport in Australia, uh, which we think is the number one sport in Australia. Uh, and we reckon you guys will love it. You will get right behind it. Um, and when you do get to the game, be as loud as possible because it makes the boys play better and the boys feed off it. I think we're probably going to either have a couple beers or a couple cocktails and get well, you know into what? it even more. I reckon you should get to the tailgate party, get here about three hours early, rip the head off a couple and then have a good time. <laughs> Who would you like to give a shout out to? Oh, no, anyway, all the people of Vegas, we'd just like to say thanks for embracing us, taking us in. Um, it's been enormous. You have been so welcoming to us here. Um, and it just feels like we've been here. I've only been here for three nights. It feels like I've been here for years. So. Mm. Um, you are lovely people in, in Vegas. We love all you Americans. I appreciate you. Thank you again. Looking forward to having you live on my radio show, live on air with Stephen Cuoco. I spoke with Glenn. Yep. We're going to get things better prepared for you so that we can get more of the word out there and Beautiful. to be a great support well, system. Well, I can't wait because we're, when I'm here with Manly, we're here for, I think, 11 nights. So it'll be plenty of time for us to catch up and I'll be able to introduce you a lot more of my teammates. Oh, I would love that. Thank Beautiful. you so Anytime, much. Anytime, brother. Thank right. you. Thank you. Legend. Thanks, champion.